M zero FXP. So Joseph Gauss has uh, added on uh, my Facebook page that Anytone eight six eight have added a new firmware of version number two point four zero, which is quite surprising. But that's what they've done. Even um, Bridgecom don't show this version, and I've been on Anytone's website and I can't see it there, but it probably is there. So if it says here. Firmware version 1.40 and 2.40 have been released. 1.40 uh, is for radios with hardware version 1.0. And firmware 2.40 is for radios with hardware version 1.1. So check out for this. and Don't get it wrong. You need to get it right. And you click here. I will click here for, for those updates. So just to show you. And there's the file there downloading straight away let's click it see if there's much information in there let's just go for just one of them double click here now oh, that's the driver and all that kind of stuff let's just start again a minute click here click the file let's do the 2.40 version And then we've got some, uh, you've got the actual CPS, the actual firmware file that you need. And let's click, let's click this 868 folder with all your instructions. Improvements 2.40. Resolve the issue that digital monitor does not work. Resolve the issue that strength bar still show full grid when the signal disappears due to the 868 CPU capacity is full this is the latest firmware release thank you that's quite good that they're still doing firmware releases aren't they I think that model's discontinued so I'll, I'll just add a, a video or my last video of doing the firmware 868 because I haven't got that radio anymore but I'll add it in the description and a link at, at the end so thanks for watching uh, please like and subscribe my channel 73 all the best